Hi, I'm Dr. Geetha Nampia Parampil, and I'm a physician at St. Luke's Roosevelt Hospital. Today I'm here with Dr. Debbie Nampia Parampil, who also happens to be my sister. She is Chief of Interventional Pain at the Veterans Affair Hospital in New York. Today we are going to talk about a condition that affects millions of people in the United States, and that condition is low back pain. So tell us, doctor, why is low back pain so important? Well, millions of people are affected by low back pain, as you said. Mm -hmm. Approximately 80% of the population actually experiences at least one episode of low back pain during the course of their lifetime, and people who have low back pain can often have more severe and more frequent episodes. It's the second most common reason for them to visit the primary care physicians, and it can also affect mood, function, and people's relationships. It can cause them to take time off work as well. Okay. So, can you tell us a little bit about the causes of low back pain? Well, I brought this model here with me to kind of give some orientation as to the spine. Uh, essentially, you're looking at the spine from the side over here. Okay. So, if you press on the pointy areas of your back, what those are are these spinous processes over here. Okay. And the spine curves, this is the low back or lumbar spine, and it curves around to the sacrum here, which is like the buttock. So the spinous processes are in the back, and in the front, you have these vertebral bodies, which are the stabilizing bones in the back. So that's what allows you to stand, to walk, and to put force on the back. In between, you've got these discs, which are like the cushions of the spine. So they're like shock absorbers when you're doing these different activities. And what can happen is that you can get wear and tear on these discs. That usually starts by around age 30, and you can have low back pain related to that. So for example, people who have pain related to the discs often have worse symptoms when they're bending, lifting, twisting. So people typically who are lifting weights. Uh, if mm. people are a little bit older and then have low back pain, usually it's related to the joints back here. Now this can sometimes start at around age 30, but they start to get osteoarthritis, which is where you have friction between bones and bones. And typically these people have more pain when they're standing or walking or if they've bent down and they're now trying to get up. That, that's a common reason to have osteoarthritis pain or a common description of it. Sometimes also people can have pain related to the nerves. Now this, you're seeing the two different bones here, but it's actually a column. So it's a circle that's protecting the spinal cord, which is in the center. Okay. That stops in the center and then you have different nerves branching out mm -hmm. and coming down. From the lumbar spine or low back, they go down the legs. And sometimes those can be affected and also cause low back pain. Okay. So you mentioned the discs, which are the cushions uh, in the low back, and I've heard about herniated discs. Are those a common cause of low back pain? Well, herniated discs can be related to low back pain, yes, but oftentimes it causes more symptoms of leg pain. So the reason okay. is that you can have wear and tear of the discs, and then what can happen is they can bulge or herniate. Herniate's another word for bulging, but they basically come back out this way and might hit a nerve, for example. And then what will happen is that the person gets pain wherever that nerve goes if it's going to cause symptoms. So for example, here, this is a very common area just because of the angle where people can get herniated discs. So if they get a herniated disc here at S1 and it hits the S1 nerve, what can happen is they'll feel pain where the S1 nerve goes. Mm -hmm. Now the S1 nerve forms the sciatic nerve which goes down the back of the leg and that's why people often say that they have sciatica. So it's usually related to a herniated disc hitting that S1 nerve. Okay. And another term I've heard thrown around is spinal stenosis. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So spinal stenosis is related as well. Stenosis means tightening. So for example, here where the nerve is coming out, this hole over here called the neural foramen can become very tight. It can become that way because the disc is either bulging out and making that space tight, or because this arthritis, it becomes overgrown or inflamed and also makes that hole tight. That's called neuroforaminal stenosis. And sometimes you can have the same thing happening here in this central canal. So that's called central canal stenosis. But both are forms of spinal stenosis. And typically they cause pain going down the leg. Okay, all right. And what about a pulled muscle or a strained muscle? Do those cause low back pain? So it's a little bit controversial. I mean, everybody feels that they have muscle strains and muscle spasms mm -hmm. at yeah. certain times in their lives. But we don't know if there's really something wrong with the muscle or if it's something that's wrong with the discs or the joints or something else and it's referring pain to the muscles. Sometimes you can have muscle spasms where the muscle is actually trying to protect that area. Okay. So I 
know a few people who are suffering from low back pain and they're deciding about when they should see their doctor. When do you recommend they do so? Well, I think that if it's a new episode of low back pain, it's important to see the doctor, especially if there's something that precipitated it. So, for example, a motor vehicle accident, some mm -hmm. type of fall, some other type of trauma, maybe sure. a sports injury. You want to get checked out to make sure that there are no broken bones or something else causing damage. Similarly, if you have severe low back pain and fevers or chills, you want to make sure that there's no sign of infection there in the spine. And for anybody who's had a procedure recently or is on blood thinners, you want to make sure that there's no bleeding in the spine. Oh. Sometimes you want to get checked out as well because there can be things besides the spine that we're looking at that can cause low back pain. So for example, if somebody has something going on with their intestines or colon, that can refer pain to the low back. If somebody has something going on with their uterus or uh, ovaries, for example, that can refer pain to this area. And if someone has something going on with the kidneys or bladder as well, mm -hmm. they should probably get checked out because sometimes they can feel the pain in their low back. Hmm. Another thing is that if people have symptoms of weakness in the legs or any trouble with their bowel or bladder, controlling their bowel or bladder, it could be because different nerves are affected. So okay. if, if any of those things are going on, I would recommend seeing a doctor. A lot of times though, you know, the most common cause of low back pain, again, are these degenerative changes, whether it's from the discs or from the arthritis. Those are not dangerous, but can be very painful. Sure, all right. So anything else you'd like to tell us today about low back pain? Well, just I would just like to emphasize that a lot of these degenerative changes are very common. People get these degenerative discs at around age 30. People start to get arthritis around age 40. So it's sort of like having gray hairs. You know, these things happen over time. People will have them. It doesn't mean that the person will have pain, but if they do have pain, then these can often be the cause. So if someone has these things, a lot of times the episodes will pass and people will feel better. But if they have any of those other signs or uh, causes of injury, they should probably get checked out. Okay. Well, lots of important information. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you for having me. Sure. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Please tune in for our next segment where we're going to talk more about the workup and some of the treatment options for low back pain.